Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we will discuss about the custom pipe. How to create custom pipe in Angular. This is the most frequently asked question in the interview. If you are Angular developer or front-end developer or full-stack developer. I'm assuming you already know about the pipe in Angular. If you don't know, then click on the above link to know about the Angular pipe before proceeding. To create custom pipe, these are the few steps you need to follow. First, create a new file for your custom pipe, for example, multiplier.pipe.ts. Second step is decorate your class by the pipe decorator. Third step, you have to implement pipe transform interface. Now you have to write your logic inside the transform method. Your pipe is almost created. You just need to add it to the declaration or export array of module. Your pipe is ready to use now. You can use your custom pipe in Angular template by its name. Let's jump into the code and create our custom pipe. I have already created an Angular application for interest of time. So I am gonna create a simple pipe which accept the number whether it is a string or simple number. It will return the twice of number. Let me first create the pipe folder inside the app folder. Inside the folder, I am creating a file. Let's name it multiplier.pipe.ts. Inside this file, I am creating a multiplier class and inherit the pipe transform interface. Pipe transform interface have transform method which we have to implement. Transform method has two parameter, value and arguments. First parameter will contain the value on which property we apply our pipe. And second is argument which is optional and it contain the parameter value like when we want to pass the additional argument. As of now, I am removing arguments because it is optional. Don't worry about it, we will talk about it later. Inside the if block, I am checking if we have some value. If we have value, then convert that value into the number and multiply by 2 because we have to return the twice of number. And if value is not valid, then return it as it is. Now decorate our class by the pipe decorator. Inside the pipe decorator, we have name property. We can assign any name to this property which justify our pipe work. I have assigned multiplier as name. Now copy the class name and add it to the declaration array of our mo app module. Let's import it to fix this error. Now our pipe is ready to use. Just copy the pipe name and apply in our app.component template. I am creating S2 heading to use our custom pipe. So our pipe will accept this for as a string value. And we will convert this value into the number and multiply it by 2. And then it will return it. Save the changes. Let's check on the browser. So it displaying 8 which is twice of 4. Hence our custom pipe working as expected. Let's create a public variable and try to apply our pipe on that variable. I am creating a num variable and assign 5 into it and using this variable in template. I am getting some error here. Let me check. Oh, I have not saved the changes in app.component.ts. Let's save the changes and check our browser again. It is displaying 10 which is twice of 5. In this way we can apply our pipe on variable and properties also. Now let's talk about the argument in transform method. Suppose we have a case in which we want to pass a boolean value as well in our pipe. And on the basis of that boolean value, we want to return value. In that case, we will create a parameter in transform method next to the value parameter. We can create many parameter next to the value parameter by comma separated as per our requirement. 
For example, I am creating a Boolean parameter multiplier. And when we have a true value, then our pipe will return twice of number, otherwise not. And how we can pass the value to the transform method? It's simple. In the template, next to our pipe, just write the colon space value. Here I am passing the false. Same way we can pass many value according to the parameter we have in transform method. If we have one more parameter, then we will pass another value by colon separated. Let's save the changes and check our browser what we will get to see. So it displaying 5, which is expected because we have passed false. That's why our pipe did not return twice of number. Let's change it to the true. This time it should display 10. Save the changes and let's check our browser one more time. It displaying the result as expected. That's all from this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys in next video. Bye for now.